God knows I never meant to hurt you. I never meant to break your heart, your heart, baby. God knows I never meant to turn you on, turn you on. Never meant to take it that far, that far, baby. God knows I never meant to hurt you, hurt you, hurt you. Good morning. Good afternoon. Thank you, Tony. <laughs> um, welcome, 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 welcome to the mental health. Uh, whatever side of the diaspora that you're on, you're here. And I appreciate you. God bless you today. As they would say in the church, God bless you for being here this morning. I know I appreciate you. And God loves you too. Um, but that's really not um, the premise of this video. Well, to say hi, yes. But I wanted to talk about making sure that you um, stay authentic. I think that's what's, what this what this is about today. This self-discovery or this self-meditation or this wasn't inspired by a listener or a sub or anything. Um, and I'm going to be back with a few more videos, sub, so I mean some of my subs so I can shout y'all out. But this is more um, or less staying authentic, stay true to yourself. Um, and stay, when you in recovery, stay focused on you. You know, it's just like when you stop using drugs, you can't say, well, I'm not going to ever use drugs. You tell yourself something like that and then you fall short. You're going to feel 20 times worse. Okay. Um, so a better, yeah, a better way of handling the situation would probably be, um, I'm not going to use drugs today. Okay. Um, and sometimes we can have these relationships that are addictive. They're just like drugs. And the more you have um, a part of the drug, the more you want. So if you are talking to uh, somebody that you have just deemed, and you realize that you're addicted to this person. So now... And instead of talking to this person once, twice a day, now you find yourself talking to the person two or three, four times a day. And actually, you guys have justified it. Um, but that's too much. And I don't care what nobody says, unless there's some kind of emergency. There's no reason that you need to talk to somebody that many times a day, unless there's a lot of insecurity and a lot of, um, uh, 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 you know, immature uh, interaction going on. Adults, healthy adults don't respond that way. And it's, In fact, if you do find a healthy adult and you keep calling them all day long, those are going to send red flags to that person that you are a little emotionally unstable. Because it's like, why are you trying to hurry up? What are you trying to expedite? Why are you trying to um, allow this stuff to happen so quick? Get off me. Or Give me a moment to miss you. But I think if you love starved and um you haven't gotten the attention that you that you need, or you just are not in touch with your feelings uh the way you should be, sometimes that's flattering and you 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 allow that to happen in your life. Well, I'm here to say whenever you find something moving that fast, it is into your benefit to slow it down. Um, if you have gotten on a path that you want to be on in your life and you realize as much as you love somebody and you can be to the depths of their soul, you think, at least, I think the main thing is to try to be honest with them. Um, sometimes they, the honesty is not accepted. Um, and you can't be attached, attached to that. You just got to let it be what it is. But the bottom line is you have to make a decision that this is not for me. You know, not that the person is not for me, but this aspect or whatever is going on right now, I know right now I, it's I'm feeling like I'm addicted. You know, 
when you first stop smoking cigarettes, you can't even be in a room with some people that's smoking because you'll, you'll relapse. Okay? After a minute, you know, a while, you may not want to be in an environment with a cigarette smoker if once you stop smoking, but cigarette smoke is all around you. So being an ex-smoker, you'll probably go into a situation and you see somebody smoking in your room. You know, some of that smell has gotten into your lungs, but overall, you can't believe that you have um, used to have cravings for that. Okay, you get what I'm saying? So when you find yourself addicted, you have to at least be able to, when it's come to interacting with the other person, you have to have the feelings that you have when you stop smoking cigarettes, where you smell it, but it doesn't have the same emotional impact and charge. Um, it's not healthy. It's because it's not. It's not. And, um, you know, teeter tottering on saying really that it's not the love that we think it to be. It's more of an attachment and a codependency and more of a, um, in my opinion, more of a controlling situation, whether it's on your part or their part. So, you know, with that being said, I hope I made some sense today. I hope I did. But at the end of the day, no matter what happens, you just have to have that spirit. Like, God knows I never meant to hurt you. I never meant to break your heart, your heart, baby. God knows I never meant to turn you on, turn you on. Never meant to take it that far, that far, baby. God knows I never meant to hurt you, hurt you, hurt you. All right, bye, y'all. See you in the next video.